Hi guys, welcome to the tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about set and queue. So this is the queue interface and the set interface uh, implementation classes. And uh, queue interface, set interface, both the interfaces are extending the collection interface. So uh, in the queue interface, we have an implementation call class called priority queue. And we have one more DQ interface, which is extending the queue interface. And in case of set interface, we have two implementation classes, hash set and the linked hash set. And we have one more interface, sorted set interface, which is uh, implement, which extending the set interface. We have a tree set, which implements the uh, sorted set. So today in this uh, tutorial, we are going to see about the implementation classes, uh, priority queue, hash set and linked hash set. This is a demo class I have created for the hash set and uh, as we know the all the implementations are inside the java.util.package so so I have imported the java.util.package and here I am creating the object for the hash set and using the add method I am adding the elements for the set and you know uh, the set with from the theory section you might have to come, come through the a conclusion that uh, set won't allow the duplicate values to check that I have added 243 for two times and using the for loop I'm it I, uh, I'm 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 iterating the uh, set and here uh, I'm just calling the remove method and here I'm printing the set and this is using the for each lambda expression and this is uh, this this syntax is available only on uh, JDK 1.8 Okay, let us run this program and we will check the output. See, uh, we have entered 243, 293 here and we have entered 23. So from this we can see the this hash set is not maintaining the insertion order. So first we have entered 23 but it is not giving the 23 as a first. We are getting 243 and also uh, we have entered 243 through times but here only one time we got 243. So uh, we can conclude that uh, set won't allow the duplicate values. And here after removing we are removing here 23 and 24. So those two elements has been removed here. So this is all about hash set and we will see about the linked hash set. So as usual we have imported the java.util.package uh, and we are creating the object for the hash set and using the add method we are importing the uh, sorry we are adding the elements so here we have specified as a string so this is generics so by this we are telling the compiler that this set will contain only the only the string type of objects so we have to enter all this we we, we can enter only the string or uh, string elements and using the for each loop I am iterating. Uh, so uh, linked hash set will maintain the insertion order. We will check uh, from this program and we will run this program and will verify the output. See here first I entered one. The one has been created here, printed here and the two the same two has been printed here. The likewise in the, the same order what the way we, I entered the same order it is printing here. So linked hash set is uh, maintaining the insertion order so this is all about the set interface so two important points are like uh, uh, set won't allow duplicate of uh, values and the uh, hash set uh, will not allow the, will not maintain the insertion order but this linked hash set is maintaining the order next we will see about the uh, queue here I have created the priority queue uh, demo class. So here I have created the object for the priority queue. Here I am mentioning the uh, type of the queue will be uh, integer. This is generics and uh, I am importing the java.util.package and using the add method I am adding all the elements for the queue and uh, using the for loop I am iterating and printing all the elements of the queue and queue in queue 
when we call the remove method it will remove the item which we entered as the first and if we, we can specify any element for the remove method also here I am specifying the uh, seventh element and also in the queue we have two methods peak and pool so if you say pq dot pq object dot it will give you all the methods available for the queue so we have a ex exclusive two methods peak and pool so i just called the pool method here we will see what it is printing this here i am printing calling the pool method and i am printing the pool method let's see I am going to run this program. So, the same order the way I insert or it is printing 1, 2, 3 till 7. When I call the remove method without any element, it is just removing the head. I mean, the first. The queue is like a first in, first out data structure. Uh, this is first element will be in the head. So, if we call the remove, it will remove the first head element. And here I am removing the 7. So the seventh element, seventh element also has been removed here from the queue. And if you call the pq.pool method, so it is printing the first element, I mean the head element. So this is all about queue. So in this tutorial, you have learned about set interface and queue interface. We have the uh, implementation classes, uh, hash it and the uh, linked hash it. We have seen about uh, these two classes. And also for the queue uh, implementation, we have seen the priority queue. Uh, thank you for watching the tutorial. Have a great day.